Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel where we love to talk about movies. Today we're going to do a review for 80 for Brady. I just got back from seeing it at the theater, so let's dive on in and uh, talk about why I think this is a fun film, but not one that you got to go out of your way to see. So, uh, and In this film, a group of friends made it their lifelong mission to go to the Super Bowl and meet NFL superstar Tom Brady. I think I remember when this movie, I saw a trailer for this, and I was like, that's actually a real movie. I think I had seen, like, a poster for it in, like, the Coming Soon section on the AMC app, and I thought it was just, like, a fan event or something like that. I didn't really realize it was a real movie, but I wasn't really super looking forward to this movie. It looked like it might be kind of fun, but not something you'd need to see in theaters and not necessarily up my alley, but having seen it now, I'd say it's a fun movie. It's one I would just barely recommend if you're looking for something to watch it's on the lower side of b for me um i did have fun with it though and so that's kind of why it gets it into that tier it's not the yeah not the best movie ever i think they did a good job of giving each of the four friends kind of their own thing or their own sort of personality but they were it was a it was a fun friend group it was one that would be like hey i'd like to be part of that friend group i think and I think, yeah, they had, they had a good dynamic and everything. I thought they did a good job as well of, like, from the trailer, I knew that they had to figure out a way to sneak into the Super Bowl. But as it's playing out, you don't really know why. I think because it seems like they've got tickets, and uh, then you're like, oh, they must lose the tickets. How are they going to lose the tickets? And so it kind of took some turns that way that I wasn't really expecting, and so I kind of appreciated that. Other things that I, yeah, other other thoughts on the film. I thought the the main like speech, like the inspirational speech that one of them gives to Tom Brady to kind of motivate him to uh, uh, that like led to the comeback for that Super Bowl was it was just all right. I thought that the camera it was maybe just like a little too long i think it needed to be that long for the story that was being told um by the person giving the speech but the the camera lingered kind of half on tom and half on the other person and tom was just kind of sitting there like i don't know it, it it didn't play out all that well or all that inspirational so i thought that could have been better especially as like within the context of the movie, like, oh, that's what gave Tom Brady the motivation he needed to, to do a 25-point comeback. Uh, eh, I, I didn't quite believe that. Same, there's a couple other things, I think, especially in the third act, you just kind of have to suspend your belief on some stuff and go with it and have fun. So that's, I was for the most part, like, I didn't have too much trouble suspending my belief, but you're you're gonna have to do that but it's uh i think it's for the benefit of the film it allows them to do some fun stuff so i thought the third act was a little bit weaker that's where like the super bowl actually plays out and they kind of mixed in real footage with uh footage of the friends going to see the game and i thought it blended kind of well it was i think it blended as well as it could but i don't know it didn't i i much more enjoyed kind of the first two acts uh, and that one was less about the friends. It was more about, like, the game. So I didn't I didn't like that one, uh, the ending, kind of as much, or, like, the last, like, third of the film. But overall, though, it was a fun film. It's, yeah, again, it's, it's nothing, it's nothing groundbreaking. But if you're looking for a pretty lighthearted film and just a, a good time, uh, either at the movies or for something to stream, it's... Yeah, it's, it's one I would say I just barely recommend. I had just good enough of a time where I'd recommend it if you're looking for something to watch. But if you uh, have a chance to see it, though, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I know for me, my auditorium was very, very full. It's been a while since I've been in that full of an auditorium. Maybe Avatar was. But I was surprised at how many people were uh, at the movie. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you like staying up to date on reviews for movies that are in theaters. And with that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.